Next weekend, some local artists will come together to show you how to hide behind the mask. Joining us from the Pendleton Art Center is Ed Hester. Thanks for coming in. My pleasure. Yeah, it's nice to see you. Ed was an artist that worked for years in New York City, painting and printmaking. Mm -hmm. But you've done a sculpture for this event. Mm -hmm. And t tell us about it. It's called Three's a Crowd. I love it. Well, yes. The one thing I like about this approach is that you can change the characters around. They're typical artist mannequins. Do you mind if I? Uh, please do. Okay. You can, you can create. You can do a dancing cheek to cheek. Very I see. Easily. Oh, yeah. sure. There you uh, go. And you've got magnets on the feet. And magnets on the feet. And a big steel boot that's holding them on. This yep. is neat. The interesting thing is the um, the Pendleton Arts Center was at one time a um, shoe factory. Oh, so, so I it's thought perfect. that was quite appropriate it, for the it show. It fits. It fits. Yeah. And uh, w what else will we see during this event? A great variety of art. The, the interesting thing is you have over 120 artists in one location there in, in uh, downtown Cincinnati. And you have painters, printmakers, uh, sculptors, jewelers. So you get a, an incredible variety of art. And you get a full range of talent as well, from beginners to people who have been in the art field for many, many years. It, it must be a neat place to rub shoulders and get information. Is this art for sale? Oh, it is. It's definitely art for sale. The artists are actually independent business people. Okay. So they have a um, uh, the right to do anything they want with their own studios, and, and we also have two common areas that all of, all of the artists share that um, give them an opportunity to show work outside of their studio, but still in the Pendleton complex. And maybe you see something that you like, but isn't quite what you want. You, you could perhaps commission them to do oh, something Oh, definitely. Many of the artists accept commissions. Oh, what's it like spending your life creating art? Oh, it, it's a blast. It, it's a never-ending source of variety, and that, of course, is what, what attracted me to the art world primarily. And you'd be a good person to ask this question. In your opinion, what's the importance of art in our lives? Oh well, I think it 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 does things that you don't normally get during your day-to-day -day living. It's a way of escaping from routine. Uh, it's a way of adding moments of joy and happiness. Uh, for instance, being frivolous. I usually am a, a painter, but uh, with these mannequins, it's an opportunity to be very frivolous and do something different. I could see this being a very popular piece at a, in a living room at a party for people to talk about and play with. Ed, thank you so much for coming in and showing us your art and talking about the event. And Masks is the name of it. It will open at the Pendleton Art Center's 510 Gallery the final Friday in March and April from 6 to 10 p.m.